Well, they say necessity is the mother of invention, and we were experiencing some leakage in the winter through the air conditioner, and so, uh, well, I built a, what appears to be a picture frame, but is actually an insulated box surrounding the air conditioner, which works quite well, and it's now springtime, so it's time to uh, take it off the wall and reveal what's behind it. So I'll try to do this with one hand as I, as I hold the camera with the other hand. I don't know how... How well this will work. Anyway, uh, I'm carefully grabbing this thing. Ah! And let me put it down for now. So here is the picture frame, and there is the air conditioner, which is a little interesting. Another story all by itself. Let's just take this twist tie off over here, and then the cord comes down. And we'll make it a little bit neater so that we can plug it in. However, the uh, air conditioner itself is an ordinary window air conditioner, but it appears to be uh, made just for this hole in the wall. Well, actually, I just made this hole in the wall like a window um, so that I could use a window conditioner instead of a through-the-wall conditioner since these window units are much cheaper and they do the same thing. But that's a whole other story. Maybe I'll show some details of that. So here's the detail. Uh, we can turn it into a perspective to make it a little bit clearer. Um, then back, back to the detail. Now, in order for this to work, we need to put a 2x6, which basically simulates the window into that little slot up at the top. Uh, jam it up then we can put the air conditioner into place and you can see how it uh, normally fits in snug up against the bottom sill then that 2x6 comes back down and uh, the air conditioner leans up against it and that's what that's what keeps it in its correct position once it's in that position the air conditioner also comes with a, a little screw attachment that uh, supports it a little bit better on the exterior sill. So that's how the whole thing works. Anyway, uh, if we look back at the picture frame, um, this is just a t-shirt that we had that, that is painted by a member of our family. And it was just stretched out over a board and uh, basically just inserted into the frame with a little fastener to hold it in place. And if you look at the other side of the frame, what we see is that it's got three quarter inches of rigid insulation glued to the edge. So it, it creates a, a nice box and then there's a, a kind of a st stick on foam that you can get at any hardware store around the around the edge so it makes a seal with the wall. Now in order to fasten it what I did is I just treated it pretty much like a picture frame with a little uh, galvanized wire attached to both ends and then that is attached just a little a little screw into the frame of the air conditioner so the whole thing just hangs into place without any problems. And furthermore, because in the winter, it's always warmer on the inside. So any leakage of air from the outside to the inside will not condense. Since it is coming from cold to hot, it will never reach a, a dew point. And for that reason, as you can see, the uh, outside is perfectly clean. There's no mold. There's no uh, any problems at all that you would associate with kind of condensation. And the reason for that is, as I said, because the leakages from the outside to the inside, cold to hot, will never create a problem. It's only moist, humid air leaking from the inside to the outside that would cause a problem, and that doesn't happen because it's sealed with this little edge. So it's sealed, insulated, and then all winter long we enjoy this wonderful t-shirt picture. And that's the story.